good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen from uh, I think it's late afternoon over there and early afternoon uh, over in Argentina. Um, we've got uh, our team announcement today. You would have seen that uh, our release dropped a couple of minutes ago. So the squad has been announced. Uh, as you would know, it's an unchanged starting lineup with just three changes on the bench. Um, but um, we will get coach Jack Ninaba to, to take you through that, um, depending on questions and so forth. Guys, also, um, I'd just like to appeal to everybody. We are not mentioning at all anything related to, to Alton Yankees. We will not entertain any questions. Uh, so if I can, can please ask that we stick to the task at hand. And that is uh, the squad announcement and the match that's coming up this weekend. Um, that, that is essentially our, our aim here today. We've also got Alrich Lowe, um, who is on the table today with uh, Coach Jacques Nienover. So uh, please, as usual, raise your hand for questions. If I can ask you to please ask one question at a time. Uh, if we have a chance for a second question, we will come back to you. Um, and then obviously toward the last 10 minutes, we will do Afrikaans um, for our international media who are joining. Uh, so that's just a warning over there. Um, so first stand up, um, Nathan. Nathan. Uh, thank you, uh, Zina. Um, good day, gentlemen. Um, I've got a two-part question. Uh, on the bench, there's no lock replacement. Reason for asking, both Eben and, and Lewis have high workloads, and is that being monitored? Because there is guys like Simon waiting in the wings. The second part of the question, will Eben Lewis feature in the last test or end of year? I believe there were talks he'd be included later in the rugby champs or end of the year. Okay. Um... I suppose that that question is for me. Uh, listen, guys, it's breaking up badly. Uh, uh, so I got parts of it. So I, I and no, so Nathan, if if I'm answering the wrong question, um, uh, apologies, and then you can uh, re-ask that. But uh, so the first one, you said there's no lock on the bench, um, and yes, you correct there. Um, uh, like last, like the previous test match against uh, Australia, Franco Mostert uh, covers us uh, um, uh, in that position. Um, although he's starting at seven. And then your other question was relating, are we monitoring the work rate of players? Yes, uh, yes, we are. And not only uh, in the test matches, but also with their clubs. Uh, so obviously a guy, some players have, have are, are high in match minutes with a spring box, but, pro, but not as high uh, if you go and look at their clubs for, let's say, there's injuries or uh, there was reasons for them uh, missing game time. So, yes, no, it is definitely something that we monitor, uh, monitor uh, deeply or, or thoroughly, sorry, thoroughly. Ashfaq? Thanks, guys. Hi, Jacques. Hi, Arif. Um, I, I know you said you're not taking questions on Elton, but his unavailability means you don't have a specialist flyer on the bench. Who covers uh, a fly off of the bench and how does that affect your your approach? And then secondly, just for uh, Arik, what do you expect from him as an impact um, player? Okay, um, Ashfaq, uh, yeah, like lo the previous test, um, Franz Stein covers us on fly off. Um, with Gaza starting, and I think that's probably uh, sometimes injuries and uh, uh, is a bad thing. You know, if you think uh, um, us losing Andre, if you think about uh, what happened in 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 the right wing position. Uh, but the positive of that is always uh, you get to test uh, your depth and you get to get uh, you get to uh, get some experience in your squad and and develop your squad in terms of of, of the the squad depth. Uh, so, uh, yes, on stand covering uh, fly off for, for us there this weekend. And uh, then uh, was the question about Elrich, uh, uh, was that for me, is what I expect him from uh, as an impact player? Uh, no, I just expect him to do what he did in the test matches that he came on for us. Uh, and also what he's been doing uh, with us in training. Uh, you know, he must just uh, uh, deliver what he's been delivering Training in and uh, training in and training out, uh, uh, and what he did in the games that he went on for us. Craig Gray. Thank you, Zina. Afternoon, uh, gents. Uh, Jacques, just a broader question. You know, uh, you, you won your last time in Argentina, but the two previous times the box lost. What makes it such a difficult place to win? Uh, to win in, especially, I, I guess they've been in the rugby championship for ten years now. But yeah, just your views on what makes it difficult over there. 
Um, yes, yeah, Craig. Yeah, obviously, uh, it's a passionate country, you know, and uh, I think they, uh, they, yeah, they, 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 they are a proud uh, team, and um, they've got lots of struggles and challenges to overcome. You know, not having a league in in Argentina, similar to us, getting a lot of players in from abroad and aligning them. So, so I think they, um, yeah, they they a tough team that 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 are uh, that's hard to break down. Yeah, they're very passionate, and they they really want to perform for the for in front of their own fans and away. I mean, like we saw. Uh, um, uh, Two three weeks ago in Christchurch, you know they they are a formidable team, and I think they are well coached, and uh, uh, they've got a, a, a they've got good experience within that squad, and um, yeah, so th that's what what makes them tough. Thanks. Hi, Jock Alrich. Um, Jock, just a just a question on the defence. I mean, I I, th I think sometimes for for people like us, you know, out there, we we don't necessarily get the full picture in terms of defensive stats and that type of thing. But the basic things that we do get is that we've seen, you know, a trend this season that you guys are averaging about twenty missed tackles. You know, before a huge improvement in Sydney and stuff. I just wanted to hear, is there is there a bit of a concern, you know, that the water tightness of that defense has slackened perhaps a bit, you know, is it due to workload or are we not quite seeing, um, you know, the full picture from the outside now? Uh, from a defensive viewpoint, uh, yes, I, to be honest, I don't know what the stats is currently. I don't, if you ask me what our tackle completion is, I will not be able to tell you. It's not something uh, that I that I uh, follow and, and the reason for or, or uh, look at because tackle completion, in my opinion, uh, if you concede four more tries and you kick all of them over, the score will be 28 mil and you won't miss a tackle. Uh, so, so in my opinion, uh, to look, uh, and I'm not sure if you again, it broke up. I'm not sure, Heinz, if, if uh, it was Heinz asking, hey, uh, I'm not sure if you were mentioning tackle completion or what stat you were mentioning. So, so yes, I think uh, uh, from my perspective, are we uh, where we 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 should be uh, in terms of winning a World Cup? Probably not. Uh, I think we are, uh, and there's a couple of reasons for that. And um, I think if you look at uh, just team selection, uh, I don't think we've got the massive focus on continuity in team selection. I think our our mind, although we want to win every single test match, I don't think uh, our mind is currently uh, 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 there in terms of, of 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 getting consistent team selections. We may be thinking a little bit broader, you know, uh, um, giving a guy like Alrich an opportunity in a big game. This will be like a semi-final, will be one of his biggest games that he that he would play in away from home. You know, last week uh, giving uh, a guy like uh, 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 Kane an opportunity in uh, in uh, um, Australia, where no team has uh, before. Uh, it took us nine years to win there. You know, so uh, or to get a victory there. The same with Jaden. You know, uh, him uh, getting a start there. So I think um, a consistency in selection and, and uh, always leads to consistency in performance. And I'm not there uh, covering up for the defense. Uh, your question was, are we where we want to be? No, we're not where we want to be. Uh, is there reasons for that? Maybe. Uh, uh, is there certain stats that we look at? Yes, there is definitely, uh, uh, but it's not the normal uh, tackle completion and, and that stuff. There's other, other KPIs that I look at. And uh, are we uh, ticking them? Like I say, not not to where we should be for World Cup, if you want to win a World Cup. Thanks very Steve, much. Yeah. Steven? Thanks, Z. Um, <clears throat> Z, can I ask in Afrikaans or, or not yet? Uh, Steven, can we can we hold that till, till the end just for our international media on the call? But uh, we'll we'll get you the first Afrikaans question in, in a few minutes. Um, Mubin? Hi, good afternoon. Uh, thanks, Zina. Good afternoon, Jacques. Good afternoon, Arif. Um, Jacques, just the approach for this game. Uh, Will the next two games will these will this approach be for the next two games be sort of like a semi-final and final um mental approach for this game is it all wins it like winning at all costs for this next I'm two games? Yeah. 
Uh, sorry, Mubin. OK, so I'm going to uh, uh, I, I think the question was, uh, are, are the next two games, are we going to treat it like a semi-final final? final? Uh, uh, yes, 100% we, we, we will treat it as a semi-final final because I think that is uh, if, if we want to be successful and, and win the rugby championship, we have to treat it as a semi-final final. And uh, yes, so every test match for us is winning. Uh, um, at, at all costs, and we, every team we select. Although I mentioned now that we probably weren't as uh, uh, um, as consistent in selecting uh, in team selection, you know, uh, because maybe we 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 want to look at at where our broader squad is currently at. Um, uh, uh, we every single test match is for us a win at all costs. You know, you're representing your country, but there's also a, 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 um, a eye that you have to have on. On, on getting answers in certain positions. So it's it definitely these two test matches will be a, a semi-final final. Dylan? Thanks, Zina. Um, good afternoon, guys. Um, hope you're both well. Um, Jacques, the URC gets underway this weekend. Um, just firstly, um, is there an opportunity for guys who are going to be involved in that bulls and lines ma um, match on Saturday to earn a call up for that final rugby championship game? Or, or are you quite settled on the 30 or so players that you currently have in the squad? And then is um, the URC also starting a good opportunity for you to give more game time to um, when, when the rugby championship is over to give more game time to guys who are currently short of it in your current squad? No, definitely. I I I see it difficult. We only come in, We we will only arrive in uh, in Durban. I think on Monday, Monday morning, probably at the hotel about three o'clock in the morning or, or, or five o'clock in the morning. So, so I I think uh, just from a practical point of view, it will be very difficult to get somebody in uh, who hasn't been with the squad, uh, who doesn't know the calls, and who's not uh, completely in our head in terms of what we're trying to do. I think that, that will be tough. Uh, guys that have been in the squad, uh, uh, definitely, uh, they 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 it would have be it would be much easier for them to slot in. But uh, completely somebody new that hasn't been with us, I think it would be extremely difficult because next week will probably be short just in terms from logistic point of view when we arrive in South Africa. And no, definitely, it uh, it's great for us that the uh, URC uh, are starting again uh, and definitely players uh, that that hasn't played a lot of game minutes for us uh, they will go uh, um, after the the rugby championship they will fall straight in with with their clubs uh, like like the our international players as well you know uh, they will be released to their clubs and 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 that th that management will then happen uh, uh, obviously uh, by the club uh, and how they see see them uh, uh, playing and performing for them, and when. Uh, obviously, in the South African uh, context, there's there's good communication between our performance staff and, and the franchise from performance staff. But yes, guys with low game minutes, it, it would be great if they can get some some uh, minutes under the belt before we go on the interview tour. Um, guys, I'm, I, I'm, I see there's still a few hands, but uh, I'm feeling really sorry for Ulrich, who's been sitting here as well. So I'm going to ask Ulrich a question. Ulrich, um, on the bench this week, um, just the, how, how excited are you for this opportunity in, in such a big game? Yeah, no, look, um, I've waited quite a while since my last uh, test match. So I've worked hard um, and really excited to get onto the pitch again. Um, it's a big game, so I'm quite honoured to be picked in uh, starting 23. So yeah, I'm really excited to go out and play. Cool. Um, let's go to Brendan now. Uh, good, good afternoon, guys. Uh, Jacques, just a quick question on um, injuries to the Kanyo and uh, Andre, if you've guys got any update on how long that's going to be. And Bongi joining you, I take it that's more for next week. Are you expecting him to be back in contention for next week? Uh, uh, Stephen, uh, 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 Brendan, sorry, man, I, I missed the first part uh, completely. The, but I'll answer the second part because I heard that one well. Is Bongi? Um, uh, yeah, Bongi. We got Bongi in uh, to have a, a look at him, and and if he's available to play, and if, obviously if he goes through his uh, process, uh, his rehabilitation, and he's on track. Uh, um, uh, he will be somebody that we will consider uh, uh, next week, but we will let know. Um, we, we won't risk him. 
at all. Uh, you know, if he's if it's not um, if he's not 100 percent fit and and ready to go, uh, we will not uh, risk him at all. Uh, sorry, the first part I missed, uh, uh, Brendan. Yeah, just Andre and the Kanye. If you guys have got any finality on how long they're going to be out. Um, yes, I'm not 100% sure in terms of what date they return to uh, training and return to play would be, but I know they're out for uh, for the rugby championship. Let's start there. They're out for that, and I think they are out for the end of year tour as well. Uh, but that I I I'm not 100% sure, uh, but I would say I'm 80% sure. Uh, Ross. How's it, guys? Sorry if I if you've answered this question already. I struggled to get into the meeting, um, but I see that there may be a bit of a change of venue for the game. Um, is that something that uh, plays a bit differently now that you guys have to prepare for a different venue on the weekend? Uh, Ross, no, and uh, yes, I've I haven't uh, uh, personally myself I haven't. Uh, Played a test match in Buenos Aires yet, and not even I've I've been out of Super Rugby uh, when uh, when uh, the Super Rugby played here yeah, against the, the Jaguares. So uh, even the old stadium, uh, the the first one, I've never been there uh, personally. Uh, yeah, so now for us, it's uh, for me personally. I don't know if the players will feel any different, but for us, uh, the the change in venue uh, that doesn't make uh, any it doesn't affect us. Okay, cool, guys. Um, we are going to do another three or four questions uh, in English, and then we'll switch over to Afrikaans. So, Stephen, just hang in there. Um, Nathan, you can ask. Uh, thank you again, Zina. <clears throat> uh, Jock, uh, you've had a week off um, after that uh, the last game against Australia, but how was the last week's prep, and what were the key areas you identified as major work-ons you'll be looking to overcome, especially against the uh, Argentine team, as you mentioned, passionate and difficult to break down. Um, yes, we yeah. After we we played the test match on on uh, Saturday, and then we obviously went on a on the flight uh, to to Argentina, and we got here on Sunday evening. So the players were off on Sunday evening, Monday and Tuesday, and then we started working again on Wednesday. Um, yeah, the key areas for us is uh, uh, the things that we focus on. Listen, uh, there was a question about the defence, so we worked a little bit on our defence, uh, getting cohesion there. Obviously, Kane and it will be his second test in that position. Uh, Jesse getting a little bit of a run there, uh, where Luki was normally there, so try and build some relationships there. Um, uh, so, yeah, we, we worked on defence, uh, we worked on our kicking game, we worked on attack, uh, we worked a little bit on uh, on uh, our conditioning. Uh, so, because that's the nice thing of the, this bye week, it gives you a little bit of time to to, to, to spend uh, time on everything. So, we, we, we brushed up and touched up on, on all aspects in our game. Um, let's go to Craig Gray. Thanks, Zina. Um, Jacques, just um, Argentina left a few players at home for the New Zealand leg of the tour. Um, yeah, they must have changed their style of rugby slightly. Um, do you expect a bit of an ambush? They're clearly targeting this game, uh, you know, the way they've sort of structured their season. So, I mean, would you put the 53-3 aside and rather look at how they sort of played the second Aussie test and the first New Zealand test as, as markers for what you expect? Yeah, you know, I think uh, I think you spot on the uh, uh, Craig. I think uh, yeah, they, they, this is a game uh, they will definitely target. Uh, and uh, yes, if you look at the team selection and squad selection, uh, I think I agree with you uh, in terms of that. And uh, yeah, listen, we 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 in no uh, illusion, uh, disillusion in terms of what we're going to get. We're going to get a fired up physical uh, Argentinian side. Uh, that have knocked off uh, Australia, that have knocked off New Zealand, and obviously they it, they would love to knock off uh, uh, us, you know, uh, and that will be something that they would uh, target for, and that's why we say it's probably going to be a semi-final, and that's why it's good for us to test players and to see how they will handle this pressure situation, because there will be a lot of pressure in this game, you know, there will be a lot of heat in this game in terms of the fan, the crowds, uh, and uh, um, yeah, so uh, yeah, that's why this is the ideal game uh, to 
to to see if uh, players are good enough to handle uh, this our style and uh, pressure environment. Uh, guys, we we I see everybody whose hands have uh, are up except for Stephen and Percy have asked questions already. So let's take Afrikaans, and if there's time at the at the end, then we can uh, we can go back to English. So Stephen, you can go. Thank you, Zee. I get a few questions. I'm going to make myself too much to talk. Jack, like you want to see. Um, as you have net uh, insight, can give us a brief and um, in the changes that you will make on the bank. Um, the second one for the begins, but the second one, if it ain't broke, you don't fix it. But um, it's net interesting too that you want to to bring it back to bring and then. Dwayne is daar, is het een geval van een bekie, jy weet, hy was op een stadium, een speler wat om in geen sin sal, sal weglaat uit die beginspan nie. Is daar een bekie van die verandering um, in, in sy rol? Um, en dan het vir jou tweedings van my kant af, um, as ek kyk na Argentinië, hulle het een, gewel, hulle het een geweldige claim by die afbreekpunte. Uh, jy weet, hulle is baie, um, hulle is baie effectief um, um, met die balsteel en ook, ook in die basisse dinge. Uh, hoe, hoe groot denk jy gaan die challenge daar wees en, en, en wat jy moet doen om, om dit te omseil? Uh, Steven, ja, uh, in termen van oor die spanselectie, so ja, ek denk as mens kyk na die beginspan, dit is die eerste keer wat ons eindelijk continuïteit behoud het, uh, um, uh, want ons het laas week uh, op die vorige toets, dit is eindelijk vir ons uit, uh, die, die, die toets tegen Australië, in Australië die vorige een was, was amper soos een kwart eindstrijd vir ons, en dan hier is amper vir ons een half eindstrijd, en dan, en dan die, die toets in Durban sal soos een finaal wees. En um, so ons het, ons het continuïteit in, in, in die beginspan, en dan... Uh, Ons het van die begin af uh, vir die spelers gesê en allemaal weet dat ons, uh, ons, uh, ons gaan probeer om al 32 of 33 spelers een kans te gee, jy weet, op hierdie toer. En, en uh, omdat ons uh, sekere antwoorde wil kry, jy weet, so, uh, ja, Duwijn was, was baie goed vir ons, um, uh, selfs toe hy begin het, hy was goed vir ons laas week toe hy opgekom het in die Australiese toets, bring een baie ervaring, Je weet maar, uh, ou wil ook antwoorde kry op sekere spelers, en, en die selle met, uh, met, met Faf en, en, en Kobus, uh, is, uh, ons weet wat is het in Faf en Kobus, um, uh, in termen van ons weet, Faf het, het al vir ons een rugby championship gewen, het al vir ons een World Cup gewen, Kobus die selle, Kobus vir ons al twee Britse en Ierse Lews, en maar nou het ons ook antwoorde op Jaden, jy weet, uh, en die selle met Hershey, maar ons het ook nou antwoorde met Jaden, jy weet, Jaden het al New Zealand gewen, in Zuid-Afrika, hy was een, hy, hy, negen jaar, uh, uh, was hy een van die spelers wat gehelp het, laat ons Australië wen in Australië, so uh, dit, 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 ek denk dit gee vir die speler baie confidence, en het gee ook vir die coaches confidence in die speler, jy weet, dat hy onder uh, geweldige hoedruk kan, kan functioneer en kan, kan produce, so uh, ja, ek denk dit, as mens ook kyk na andere estreis en jy weet, hy het laas, ek, ek denk hy het laas gespeeld en Wallis in die tweede toets, jy weet, so, maar weer eens, soos Elrich nou nou gesê, uh, hulle oefen hard, hulle is positief, uh, hulle, hulle help die span wat gekies word voorbereid, uh, hulle doen hulle extra's, hulle werk hard aan hulle, aan hulle game, uh, selfs al speel hulle nie, jy weet, so, uh, so alhoewel, uh, dit miskien van buiten af snaaks lyk, uh, dat ons uh, uh, ouwens nou ook kans gee, want nou hulle met ons die hele tijd, uh, jy sien hulle oefen, jy sien hulle oefen, jy sien die intensiteit waarmee hulle oefen, en uh, uh, ja, so het is maar net ons hele geleentheid nou, en ja, by die afbrekpunte, ek denk het gaan een uh, ongelooflike strijd wees by die afbrekpunte, um, hulle is baie goed, uh, uh, daarmee hulle is goed in verdediging ook, ek, ek denk hulle is die spander heel meest verdedig het in die competitie so ver, so um, ja, ek denk, uh, ek denk het gaan een titanische strijd wees daar. Um, guys, um, I think let's give everything an opportunity as well as a lose forward to, to comment on that. Um, the, the breakdowns from your, from your perspective, um, Aldrich? Yeah, okay. You know, it's a good like a low trio. Very good, very dangerous as we have a chance to So I think we're going to be ready to not give a chance to give a chance. So I think as we do our work and our preparation good, um, we have to just do it in the week. Percy? Sure, thank you, Zina. I'll see you for a while, thank you. 
zak is altijd moeilijk om aan het einde van een persconferentie te denken aan enige vraag van al die vragen is gevraagd. So, ek wil net al ver, verder wees toen jou collega Dion, Dion Davids en Malcolm Marx. So, gaan we die vraag vraag, wat, wat ek gister vir gevraag het, en jy verwacht seker hierdie vraag aan um, 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 Jacques. Jacques, kan ek jou vraag? Jy het al deurgans, sê dat jou aanstelling het jy baie duidelijk sê, jy is altyd probeer altyd so ver as moendlik, so transparent as moendlik te wees waar jy kan. Jy probeer ook altyd, altyd, nie focus op externe vraag oor druk wat buiten kan kom nie, maar jy focus op druk wat binnen die groep aan die gang. Kan ek jou vraag, as jy bekommerd oor die perceptie oor jou span, na ander ding van die wat die navi gebeur het, en was daar enige rede vir zaak nie na ber, vir Rassie Rasmus, om moendlik net jou afvaardiging, waarvan jy die hoofd van die afvaardiging is, ter hinder van die rol, die mandaat wat jy hulle dra, dat die feit dat jy die ambassadeers is, en die feit dat jy die rol moet deel van Zuid-Afrikaners is. Firstly, but like, bye, Amr, but this question is, is related directly to Alton. We said we're not answering anything um, relating to it. Uh, so uh, Asha, if you have a, a, a different question, we, we can entertain that. But, but Percy, we, we're not going to get into that, unfortunately. I did not once mention Alton. Uh, 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 yeah, his name. Yeah, but you, you are insinuating that, Percy. So if you have another question, there's, there's four other hands up at the moment. Jacques, is jy vol vertrouwe dat jou span gefokus is ondanks alle externe druk van buitenkant. Uh, jy het opgebreek, uh, jou vraag was, uh, is ek vol vertrouwe dat uh, ons span uh, die uh, externe druk sal kan hanteer? Dat jylle uh, ek gefokus denk dat jylle gefokus dat ons gefokus is, ja, yes, Percy, soos ek al baie gesê, daar is, daar is druk met enige nationale span, uh, uh, met die springboeken, is daar altyd baie, baie druk, maar daar is twee types druk, daar is druk van buiten af, kan ons het beheer? Nee, ons kan nie, daar is druk van binnen af, ons eie druk, wat ons op mekaar sit, jy weet, uh, uh, die druk wat de africhter op een speler sit, wat sy derde toets speel, vier derde toets, uh, en, en hy speel weg van die huis af tegen Argentinië, ons weet het gaan, a, daar gaan baie druk in hy wedstrijd wees, en daar gaan baie verwachtinge in hy wedstrijd wees, so daar is baie, met die druk kan ons, kan, dit daar, daar oor kan ons iets doen, en, en dis die druk waarop ons focus. Die externe druk, wat het ook al is, as het beserings is, of, of dit is uh, uh, bespiegelinge, of wat ook al, ons, ons kan nie die druk beheer nie, ek bedoel dit, uh, maar die druk intern kan ons beheer, en, en dis waarop ons focus, die, die goed waar ons probeer ons energie inzet, uh, en die goed wat ons kan verander. Dit wat ons nie kan verander nie, dit is wat het is. Simon? Kan ek ook volgen? Kan ons die vraag vir Simon kry asjeblief, um, Bussie? Dankie Zina, goeiemiddag, ek is een uh, enkel vraag vir Jacques, en een dan vir Elrich. Jacques, um, Ek wil net seker maak, jy het gepraat oor continuïteit van die span, maar dit is uh, bykans benevens die twee uh, veranderings op die bank, is dit die uh, span wat jy gehad het vir die laaste wedstrijd in Australië, en jy praat van continuïteit. Um, ek, ek, ek is een bykie verward, want gister, um, toe Dion Davids ook hier oor gepraat het, ver langs daar oor gepraat het, het hy gepraat van die, die, um, anderste type speel, die anderste type spelpatroon wat uh, Argentinië kort kort het en ons, is, ons weet daarvan en ons is bewust daarvan, dit is nie een nieuwe ding nie. Um, gaan gaan jylle met, met ander woorde oorweeg om jylle spelpatroon aan te pas, want jylle gebruik een span Australië en die selle span vir Argentinië. Dan um, sal ek, as ek sal wacht uit die klaar antwoord en dan sal ek gauw net by Elrich opvolg. Dankie. Um, ja, nee, ek, uh, um, wat, as ek bedoel, uh, in termen van uh, continuïteit en selectie, dan is het half die combinaties tussen ons, tussen ons eie spelers, jy weet, Jaden wat saam met, uh, saam met uh, Damien Willems speel, ek denk nie, hy het voor verlede week saam gespeel nie, uh, uh, um, uh, in termen van in 19 begin, so, so ek praat van die combinaties in termen van uh, continuïteit en selectie, uh, ja, en ons kan altyd, um, Ek dink, soos wat hy ook ons sien, uh, miskien, as ek jou terugvat, Britse en Ierse Lews, uh, eerste toets na die tweede toets, uh, World Cup, uh, semifinaal, Wallis na Engeland in die finaal, uh, Australië eerste toets, na Australië tweede toets. Jy weet, ons kan altyd klein veranderingkies maak in ons spelpatroon, uh, wat, wat, 
wat dan voor ons ander uh, resultaat op die veld kan gee, so, en jy is 100% reg, Argentinië bring bykie iets anders, so ek dink ons sal bykie veranderinge in ons spelpatroon moet uh, aanbring om hulle uh, uh, type spel te kan uh, verdedig, uh, uh, of die hok in te slaan, um, maar ja, nee, wat ek bedoel het met uh, continuïteit en selectie is die begin 15 tal, uh, die combinaties waar daar is, uh, um, dit is waar nou ek bewys het. Um, guys, um, we are running out of time. We've literally got a minute left. So I know, Simon, you um, had a question for um, for Elrich in Afrikaans. Ja, ek wil net vannig tal kies, Zina. Net vannig klaar maak met Elrich. Elrich, by die bille um, speel jy baie groot rol ook uh, wat lijnstaanwerk aan betref. Gister ook, Bjorn David, so heel wat uh, melding daarvan gemaakt. Um, die last sal sekerlik ook op jou skouwers wees. As jy speeltijd krijg, wat sal jy vir kies 6, 7 of 8? Want jy sal die middelveld sekerlik ook moet oppas. Dankie. Ja, nee, kijk, Simon, op hierdie stadium, waar ek nie wat op my, nom, ach, op my rug is nie, wat sy nommer op my rug is nie, ek wil net op die veld wees, so, um, nee, ek is nie redder gepla wat sy positie ek opgaan nie, ek is gemakkelijk met um, 7 en 8, ek het nog nie redder op 6 geoefen nie, uh, maar ja, dit uh, maak nie vir my baie saak, het uh, is een high two posities waarop ek, waarop ek opgaan nie. Um, and then, guys, we, we are going to close off with the last question. We, we, are, we are out of time already. Stephen, I see you also had a question for Elrich. Yeah, uh, thank you, Z. Um, Elrich, in a um, wedstrijd soos hierdie, jy het Ar Argentinië, denk ek, um, een ding waar hulle skitter is hulle werkverrichting. Um, en is dit een groot ding um, wat, wat jy, wat ek denk jy laas een collectief, um, ook naar die game wil brengen. Je weet vooral als je kijkt naar die losverspelers in termen van, van work rate. En, en dan het jou gedacht is, uh, oor uh, die ondersteuning ook wat je van, van Dwayne uh, bij die oefenveld krijgt. Uh, ja, net op haar eerste vraag. Kijk, ik denk, die week is dit uh, voor onze groot focus. Um, of eigenlijk elke week is dit voor onze groot focus. Uh, oor ons battles en ons werkverrichting, so ek dink nie veel gaan verander in ons um, mindset tegen dit nie. Um, ons allemaal weet ons met ons self in, in battles kry, dier die wedstrijd, soveel as moendlik, uh, en die rest gaan naar homself kyk. Uh, en dan op jou tweede vraag, um, ja, ek, uh, obviously het ek al baie geleer van, van Dwayne en mannes as Pieter Stef en Eben en, en Franco, Um, maak jy saak waar of ek nie in die span is nie of ek in die span is, hulle sal altijd help en altijd daar wees om, om raad te gee en om, om amper al soos een spons in te suig van hulle af. Great, thank you guys. Thanks um, Jacques and Elrich. Um, guys, sorry, unfortunately we have run out of time. Um, I'll be sending out the recording shortly, so can I please ask that you just uh, remove yourself from the meeting um, once we wrap up so that we can get the recording out as quickly as possible. Thanks for your time and uh, have a lovely day. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.